Sure. <laughs> it's going to make a nasty joke. All right. So here we go. Tools that we, first and, first, first and foremost, what you want to do is do keyword research. So what I typically do, Liam, is build a long list of keywords for a particular app. I'll give you a tool that's very popular. It's called App Annie, App Annie. Within App Annie, if your app is not launched, you can go in and put a competitor's app in there. It's completely free. And then go into the little keyword tab under App Annie, and you can see what your competitors are ranking well for. It's the only tool that will actually give you the data. Most of these tools, you have to input the keywords. But here, I don't know what keywords I want to build, right? So I want to look at what my competitors are ranking well for. And with App Annie, you can do that. And then within this app search store. So if I was looking up meditation, Liam, I would just put in meditation into the app stores, either Google Play or iOS, and I would see what is auto-populated. Kind of like the old Google, Google trick of what we used to do back in the day. Put in the keyword and see what Google, Google auto-populated. You're doing the same thing with Apple because those keywords tend to have more traffic volume, right? Apple has algorithms to show you those keywords because they want you to click on them. Right. And so these become a long, so I start to build anywhere from hundred to 200 to 300 keywords for a particular app to see just to have, right. All I'm doing is just building. It's like a blank canvas and I'm just building this long keyword list. Cause my next step, what I want to do is then pull the data using two of my favorite ASO tools. I actually use two tools, Liam, because I like to get a sense of what it really means. Cause if both tools tell me it's low competition, I know I'm gonna rank really high for that keyword. So I'll use mobile action, it's mobileaction.co, and then sensor tower, sensor tower, sensor tower.com. And I'll just put all those keywords into those tools, get all that data back. So I have the search volume and I have the difficulty from two different tools. All right, so search volume and difficulty, by that mean you mean like competition? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of, um information how granular does it get with each of those two data sets yes yeah, so it's it gives you a score right if you think facebook snapchat they're probably around a nine or a ten so they give you a score from anywhere from one to ten or ten to one hundred that's basically the same thing a ten is what apple uses and so you'll you'll find that you know the the facebooks of the world have like a nine or ten nine hundred ninety or one hundred so you can make it in correlation. So like guided meditation might have a 50, right? Now it's not exact, like unlike SEO where it's like, you know, like 3000 searches a month, right? It's, it's not that exact. It's just a score in relation to other keywords. So you want to try to find ones that have at least a 30 and above, in my opinion, at least a 20, bare minimum 20 above, and then a difficulty or a competition score of anything that is less than three if you're using sensor tower and then above a 70 if you're using mobile action. 